Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Thompson Board of Education Week. And I'll uh, call this meeting to order at 702. If we can stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, please. And I have a motion to approve the agenda. Bring out a huge vote to accept and approve the agenda of the Board of Education meeting dated February 13th, 2023. As we said, Matt, we're going to check it. In favor? Aye. Were there any members of the public who wanted to address the board? Moving on to the approval of minutes. Marie Alvish, folks who accept and approve the Thompson Board of Education regular meeting minutes in January 9th. Second. 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 Discussion and corrections? All those in favor? Aye. Proposed that same. One reality for to accept and approve Thomas and Board of Education residency hearing minutes dated January 18th, as presented. Second. Question and discussion. All those in favor? Aye. Proposed that same. Maria Eldridge works with Seth and Blue, the Thomas and Board of Education Residence Seeker, and then the State of Jennifer Eason, turns on the very business. That's the number of tickets. Questions, discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Maria Eldridge works with Seth and Blue, the Thomas and Board of Education Budget Workshop Minutes, State of Jennifer Eason, turns on the very business. That's the number of tickets. Questions of discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Maria Eldridge votes to accept the approval of Thomson Board of Education special meeting minutes dated January 31st, 2023. Um, Questions of discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Okay. For our first graduations, we have our students of the month. For January 2023, in the grade 12, who was also our early student, Ms. Connie Foss, Natalia Westman, Natalia Koku, Will Hungerford, Ethan Rennie, Dustin Gappin, Carter Ethier, Ida Lakey, Kate Mazzarola, Brandon Massaro, Natalie Pappas, Austin Hernandez, Colin Sayers, and Katalia Lopez. We congratulate all these students who were honored at the BTF Superintendent's Conference. And our staff spotlight is Jen Aradabo. Public Schools in September of 2020 as a math interventionist at Black Rock School. She then became the math instructional coach for our K-6 grades and in both positions has been a huge asset to our district. 
demonstrates that it's very good why and can drive to improve instruction and student achievement, meet her to seek her own personal development and growth. Then does not wait around for others. She finds her own solutions and implements them. She has the ability to break down huge projects into manageable parts, so she can not feel overwhelmed, and recognizing that coaching teachers is the best way to increase student achievement. Jenna, along with her partner, Hannah Nesimento, work as a team to model our teams on PLC meetings, a fist of testing, increase fidelity to curriculum, and keep pacing so our students do follow their academic masters. While Jennifer works primarily with the math content teachers, all of the elementary teachers benefit from her organization, expertise, and have a problem. Jen displays high expectations for students, and she works tirelessly to ensure both students and staff are supported. The value of the instructional coaches is being quantitatively in our school assessment scores, but also qualitatively in the PLC meetings, our systems and processes to make vision go to school. Then it's a valuable part of the Black Art School and Central School, and I am so glad to have chosen Hamilton Public Schools as a home. And this was submitted by Jessica Vinas. Congratulations. Our next on the read, so on to our fire prevention poster contest winners. Logan Fire, excuse me, and Jack Donahue are the winners on the Allison this year. They lost our Little district and competed at the little county level. But unfortunately, we're not chosen. So we are very proud of their accomplishments. And we are grateful to our Council Center School Art Teacher, Ms. Jennifer Babb, for facilitating this project. And we are most grateful to Fire Marshal Morgan and the Thompson Fire Department for always keeping us safe and providing such a wonderful opportunity for our students. Again, we congratulate you on your achievement. And our final honoree is Ms. Sierra O'Sullivan, who was chosen as a delegate for the first foundation um, United States Senate Youth Program. Sierra is um, representing Thomaston and the rest of the state in a seminar in Washington, where she will be taking part in various functions of the government. So we congratulate her and we show them all that she goes off to do that. We can add that she is one of the few students in the state to achieve this honor, so it's very prestigious. Our first presentation is from our Thomas Center School Enrichment Program. We invite them to come forward along with Representative Christopher and Senator Martin. Representative Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, the Thomason Center School, uh, Senator uh, Henry Martin wants to join me in welcoming the Learning Enrichment Action Program with our teacher, Sue Larson. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> Thank you, 
Good evening, members of the TCS Media Research Program. Thank you all for inviting us uh, to this meeting to present our proposal. My name is Jack Bellamy, and here with us tonight is Captain Biggs, Colton Jackson, uh, Mason Holly, Hunter Neff, uh, Emily Messenger, Rita Sakaki, Martin Ariel, Miss Magazine, Miss Martin, with a special thank you to Representative Mr. Collins and everyone for being here. Our teacher challenged us at the beginning of this year to explore the essential function. As a U.S. citizen, one of our duty charts and obligations. Through our education policy commission, our community work in order to become involved. And we were inspired to address this issue and protect all students who try to be found shaped with their different state. After brainstorming many topics, our group decided to address the issue of how students are not informed about what they are consuming, eating breakfast and lunch throughout our schools. Since so many students have been taken advantage of the free lunch program, this is an issue of the majority of our school population. This issue led us to develop a proposal that we should talk about how to approach it on school lunch and breakfast food for the purpose of promoting healthy eating habits by students. We request the board of support in asking that you or not this proposed legislation as an annual K resolution. We have already gained the support of the state of Virginia John Disneyville in moving forward with the modified version of this proposal. Which states that there is nutritional information to post it in the school cafeteria or other restricted places of consumption. We are looking forward to the campus of the with the goal of passing the situation in the process of becoming a woman. The first house was 60 years, it's currently in the education field, and having more digital support for us on the state agenda of resolution for actions by representatives from the first education to our campus. The proposed decision to extend to the account will make the first amount of this information to our so much in the next few months. The obvious which is a set of the information is called an analysis of our communities and is readily shared to them in the process of the same community comments. Last week, I identified the opportunity to visit our search staff. While they represented the history program, Senator Martin graciously took on our letter to meet us. We took a tour of our beautiful capital. On a menu to speak that, we also, we also were present during Governor Lamont's address to the General Assembly regarding his budget. Before we came for the day, we had lunch in the legislative office building's cafeteria. We interestingly noted how the cafeteria provides a binder of shapes and nutrition facts and ingredients of the foods being offered. This public impulse that students in Connecticut schools should be offered the same considerations a legislators have when she did not meet. What a great job that each of you did to stand up here and speak so clearly. Um, I can't say enough uh, about what I just heard. And they sold their argument by saying it is in the cafeteria at the state capitol. So I would not be surprised if this bill comes into a fruition of maybe this is Yeah, I could have said it better myself. But they did a great job. It's great to have them off. It was a real busy day. They got to the state meeting. It's great to have the group up. And, uh, and, and 
I really appreciate this board's consideration of this bill. Thank you very much. Board of Education to vote on this stage. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to ask the Board of Education to consider a resolution that we send to the Canadian Association of Public Health Board of Education. For the education, I have a board of the agenda you see a resolution entitled Posting on Nutrition Value of School Lunches and Breakfasts. The impetus behind this resolution is to foster and provide as an example to our local and regional boards of education and legislators and innovative learning practices comes to public school school program by supporting the initiative taken by the group students who propose legislation to inform all students of the nutritional value of school watching. Many have to open experiences of exceptional issues to the Thompson Board of Education, therefore, the demand of the Thompson Board of Education connection. The requirements of Connecticut are strong and critical theory do not impose additional cost for responsibility on a local or regional board of education as the nutritional values of school lunches and breakfast are regularly reviewed, analyzed, and defined as part of the lunch and breakfast menu development process. The task of posting nutritional values the nominal task responsibilities neither produce hardship for local and regional boards of education nor its employees or contractors. I am asking that the Board of Education consider taking action to approve the resolution that Chapter 169 of the General Statutes be amended to require each local and regional board of education to post the nutritional value of school lunches and breakfasts in a school cafeteria or other central place of consumption, as described by the students of the LEAP program, and also to consider the new information that I received this evening during presentation that the legislators themselves have a binder of information to bear on. Thank you, Campbell. Make a motion to vote to accept and approve the K resolution. Proceed of the nutritional value of school lunches and breakfast as presented in the support of the Thompson Center School Learning Enrichment Academic Program students proposed legislation, Connecticut House Bill 6030, and act concerning the nutritional value of school lunches and breakfast. There is your second. All those in favor? Aye. So moved. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. You have a good day. Thank you. Folks, so we understand that the children are younger and need to be home, so we can feel free to leave the meeting as we continue on with our community representative supports. But we thank you for coming and giving you such wonderful students. Start with the super representative report for academics. The second quarter ended on January 17th, giving students a fresh start to the new semester beginning on the 18th. Students are in good periods with testing, including SAT, PSAT, and SBACs, all beginning in the next few months or so. 
For clubs, there are many projects to wear in the year. Student Council Club Cat Rally that took place on February 10th to celebrate the winter sports. To get students excited for the library night games that took place that night and included the annual senior Easter basketball game, seniors won. Link through a club that helps improve school climate and student morale for activities and initiatives to make Thompson High School a greater place, celebrating the end of the semester with a mental health day on February 5th. This includes the National Guard coming with inflatable obstacle courses, a fun video about mindfulness, and a mental health music video. Students had tons of fun de stressing before the weekend. Linker will also be starting Supply Squad, a Friday activity to celebrate students. Each grade level team will choose a student they feel like they feel free to pick me up or surprise is right in the week. These students will call down to school council office to get in a goodie bag. The hope is to boost the climate for all students to hear this project. The National Honor Society is planning a blood drive through the American Red Cross that will take place on March 15th. There are more details all on that. And finally, Interact, Bio, and Women in STEM are still participating in mentoring at Fair School and Lab Rock, but we're always looking for more students to follow up. Right, well, this winter sports are deeply to see that all teams are looking for the better communication team. Rather than like a concern, it was on Friday in both teams on the same university. This is the first time both times basketball teams have been straight up and both times facing them since 2003. All sports help improve stu student morale and the extent to the season. For special events, special events for February include the monthly all star assembly, which is on the second. There's also the student room of breakfast, which is on the third of this month, to look forward to the season of the year. Moving to my report, um, I just want you to clarify uh, my advanced report. Um, last month, I had mentioned that an advanced had purchased East School in Jordanton, where they were setting up Head Start. And Head Start is going in grocery property, which was purchased uh, last week. So um, East School is going to the housing alternative program. That they currently run. When you make progress report on our goals and goals for the superintendent, um, if you do a look at that report, you will see that um, so the superintendent mapped out her goal of working on the personnel and other explaining it to the board back in August and gave us a calendar of what she would do every month. And every month there is a report in there on. Various topics that were listed. So I just want to remind the board that that is occurring tomorrow. And it's, 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 this is going to be possible. I think we announced to the next report or two reports, which is what I said, we want to present a domestic situation for this. So one of our goals for the first one of our mental response limitations in seven years. And all limitations are has been to about four hours of the year of this one. Or remember by now on the averaging, which is fantastic. Because it's hard to get to the person of our hours. So really it's but I think it was it was good enough um, to be able to say that we've run since the beginning. And then goal two was to attend weddings. The board of education is invited to 46 events. Well, I've invited more than 10 to invite you more than eight for this year. But of the events, I think we're going to have a lot of expenses. Our members are invited to 46. And 43 of the more than 75 of the board. At least one of the hours, which is sexy. Because these events vary from things like um, the change in the day or the social, but also for the ladies and the students. So I thought we should consider that. And then um, I also thought it would be uh, important to set the job of the events that you're going to have to support. So um, that's just me giving you a year update, which I think is true. The last item on my report is. Um, I could have a motion to the group of my representatives to the board. Oriel Gooch. 
Accepting the food, the equipment, or the aid of the so that we no agricultural education in the pricing community. Question number seven. Question for the second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? This is a the game in our reports for a side, seven, 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 and the following slide. I'm not sure what slide that was passing. And then further, we have some more slides that we received from Kate and the Kate Association of Health School Superintendents, as well as the Medicine School of Education and the Safety School of Education. We have received an address from the There are a number of reports. That are included in my overall report. The most recent positive vaccination that we got is now dated. Um, we are prior to last meeting. The Thompson Center School is using a four project to update the right to the institution. The information that I see trying that I share with you is to see that information. In my original report update, which you received on Friday, I had indicated that we were um, able to qualify for a class of second person for the next level of the Middle East High School, that was part of this, and that we were awaiting some information um, from our issues. Since then, we received cost estimates on engineers for an action project. So the we see an issue is the cost of how many engineers do the work, right? This sense will receive the same process. And that came to a little bit of $50,000 on three projects. And then what they sent to us was something information to the institutional cost of the project. So that's true. $300,000 for three projects. But note the oil tank project has the possibility of being 50% level higher, maybe close to 7% And that's not going to be the kind of stuff tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow we will present cost estimates because there are certain rules related to that reimbursement that we have to follow on minus that we must get the board of ed to the board of minus to recommend to town and to town meeting. A uh, resolution says they know that the cost of the meeting is 100% of the associates. They'll do that before we go in. And they do that before we put in an application. If there is not a committed grant, it's simply a grant that requires services, which is So we expect that by the time the process moves through the board of finance for the first time in the town meeting, we should be able to submit. An application for the grants in the time of April, which should get us uh, approval by the May is to fill an application for the um, which should get us around the same time that we would be doing curtain trainings at the center school, which should get us set up to do one to two four six. And it's uh, imperative that we move the board to make us close to the time that we are to be in center school because the cost of uh, paving. Will be included to stay over the So that is uh, the critical part of the update <clears throat> within the center school. Uh, Black Rock has the most significant update that you read in my report. I will have our concern reports and our requests for uh, curriculum. So we have. Two curriculum reports. One is why I need to be back against the other six. And the other is the human growth and development guide for his other as well. There is a separate piece on that's the approach to the English and the visual scenario passage. Thank you. That can work on the folks that simply need the library and media and the curriculum guide for the school business as well. Not in all the state. Thank you. Thank you. Questions or discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 
there was a source of love of this town, we put in the source of the that was meeting that comes and takes those off our hands. And uh, if they have any value, we need to get some value back. It's the same value for us because they're just taking it. So you can get some very awesome stuff in there. This year, we're going So they were taken away from the monitors, um, some really old um, big pads or thinner pads or anything like that. So we can use them. So they have taken this away because they had the last week when they were in Thank you. Who will be our committee reports? Thank you. 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 This month's business manager's report included information related to um, our outcome. He watched for 2024 and he did a comparison deep on how much. Um, what was our typical budget increase over the last seven years? So how it's been close to to show how much money in this year, in this coming year's budget, would have to be up to reach that percentage. So we haven't taken a look at it yet, it's just that you can, at this point in time, because the stats are not running about random, we don't have any um, guidance for us as to strategize where we would go with the budget. I would expect that I'm going to learn about that tomorrow on the board client scene. If not, I'm going to swap with the board client scene. The board client scene tomorrow will be concentrated on the oil tank and the center street for underwriting projects. There are expenditures in the business and financial report that are listed there. And I ask that along with um, those expenditures, the entire report be approved by the Board of Education at this time. Ask please. We are going to accept and approve the business and finance report and expenditures for policy 34 and 33, 34 and 33, business, non social operations, budget and expense report, annual financial statements, second, the January 2024. Can I have a second? Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Yeah, um, so we have a policy meeting before the meeting today at 5 o'clock. Um, we had a presentation on policy 35 and 13 from 1. Um, we're going to move that to a discussion item next month. Everybody welcome to come over in the policy meeting. Uh, um, and, then, and we're going to keep uh, policy 3281 for school reasons. So we're going to keep it as a discussion item. The policy we went over policy 41 41 freedom of speech. Uh, this will remain a discussion item the policy 6159.1. Uh, the teacher's payment bill may not promote the disregard of the policy for the proposal to the change to it. Um, and then policy 6140 curriculum will move to a second. And then we have an action item for this week. Um, so I vote to accept and approve the policy 5145.511 as per section. You know, if you say, I'll second. Second. Okay. Any Thank you very much.